If you Google the name Ricketts, you'll probably see information about the new governor of Nebraska. But long before Governor Pete Ricketts took office, there was another Ricketts in Nebraska who not only held a state office, but who was also a trailblazer. Matthew Oliver Ricketts was born into slavery in Kentucky in 1858. And after the Civil War, his family moved to Missouri where Ricketts earned a degree from the Lincoln Institute in 1876. In 1880, Ricketts enrolled into the Omaha Medical College, which is now the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Ricketts was the first African-American to graduate from the college. Soon after graduating with honors in 1884, Dr. Matthew Ricketts opened his own medical office in Omaha, becoming the first African-American in Omaha to do so. Dr. Ricketts became a popular leader in Omaha's African-American community, and in 1892, Republican Dr. Ricketts was elected to the Nebraska Legislature, becoming Nebraska's first African-American state senator. In Matthew Ricketts' four years in office, he made major contributions to Nebraska's present-day laws. He was a key contributor in the passing of a law in 1893 that prohibited businesses in Nebraska from denying service because of race. He also introduced a bill to legalize interracial marriage in Nebraska, but the bill was vetoed by Governor Silas Holcomb. Ricketts was also instrumental in the passing of a bill that set a minimum age of consent for marriage in Nebraska. On each Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, the Nebraska Legislature gives the Matthew O. Ricketts Trailblazer Award to outstanding Nebraskans in community service. Find out more about Dr. Matthew O. Ricketts by visiting these websites. This has been an Omaha History Minute.